I would like to begin my story with a prayer. Ho, Grandfather Creator, it is I, Awoha Liashi, Eagle Woman, thanking you for another day of life. Great Spirit, cast my eyes to the east, the place of rebirth and new beginnings. Creator of all life, help me to tell my story. Help me that the people might know the true gift it is to discover your true authentic self. The gift it is to be gay. Wado. Unit Unit 51 Paul 7. 51 Paul 6, uh, we have a person in the yard in the car and he's threatening to come out and shoot us. Don't fuck us, don't fuck us. 51 Paul 7 advising shots fired. For me it all began on May 6, 1990. In the midst of a promising career as a deputy sheriff, my life would change in an instant. An armed assailant was threatening people with his handgun, believed to be unloaded. I received the call to investigate, and by the time I got there, he had loaded the gun and was waiting. Shots rang out. Because I was a trained law enforcement officer, I hit my target. Because he was drunk, he missed his. I had seen many acts of violence over the span of my career, but this one was different. A part of me died that day. Yes, a part of me died. I began to question everything. Who am I? What do I believe? What is my purpose? I was thrusted into a place of self-discovery. I could no longer carry a gun that would bring such destruction to another human being, even if it was justified by law. My life was being swallowed up by this one event. I needed to purify my soul. In the midst of my searching, I found a book by a Cherokee medicine man named Rolling Thunder. I was touched by his words and felt a strong spiritual connection to him. I would be compelled to visit him, but first I must wait for the signs. For in his book, Rolling Thunder speaks of timing, and that everything is on spirit's time. Soon the signs came. Unexpected thunderstorms, hawks and ravens dancing around my house. Somehow, like a dream, all this told me it was time. I followed the author's directions in the book and arrived two days later in a tiny town of Carlin, Nevada. Little did I know that by following this guidance, I would be transforming my whole life. Rolling Thunder would be a pivotal point in the rest of my story. Over the next several years, I would grow to know Rolling Thunder as a grandfather. He used his native ways to support my healing. He would call me that Indian girl. Being adopted, I don't know my biological father's lineage. Could it be I'm part Native American? He began to teach me the way. He even gave me my spiritual name. He called me Eagle Woman. Rolling Thunder taught me about living in harmony with all living beings. He helped me realize the harm created in the shooting must be rectified by future good actions. He taught me how to pray and hold ceremony in deep reverence. I would begin to purify my wounded soul. In our native ways, we have many ceremonies, many rites of passage. It was during one of these ceremonies that I received an amazing spiritual insight. While praying on the rim of the Rio Grande River in New Mexico, I heard an inner voice say, Throw your shoes over the rim of this canyon, for who you were when you walked here will not be who you are when you leave. Your footprints will be different. You will be different. As I did this, an eagle circled above my head. In amazement, the coyotes sang. Everything became very bright and vibrant. The signs were everywhere. Shortly after returning to San Diego following this experience, I began to feel more alive, more in touch with my being. I also came to the firm understanding that I was walking in a different way. Through deep spiritual insight, I had been given my first signs that I was a woman who loved women. I have awoken to my true authentic self, uniquely different, purified, healed. This is who I am. I'm gay. I'm put here by the Creator to provide a safe place for people to heal and connect with their true, authentic selves. I carry on the old ways, helping people purify and pray in a sweat lodge. I am a helper to the medicine people. I receive the signs that tell me, being gay is not a choice. In our way, it's a true calling. This is my story. Osada, it is good. Aho, all my life.